240 and cartridges today. This one I am soaking in hot water because uh, it was pretty badly clogged. So that's usually what I do when I'm trying to basically recondition an ink cartridge. Yeah, let's see if you can see. It's still a little clogged, so I'll probably leave this in a little longer. Let me give you just a quick rundown because this confused me a lot uh, at the beginning when I first started learning how to do this. The way you can tell an ink cartridge uh, is clogged up and has dried ink in it is that you won't see a straight line. You'll notice that this one is still a little bit clogged. It's a pretty straight flat black line with a little bit of dotage in the middle. Just a little bit dotted right there in the middle. And at the top too a little bit. So this I would soak for a little bit longer in hot water. The Canon ink cartridges aren't quite as temperamental as the HP. They can take a little bit more of a beating <laughs> and still work. I'm gonna leave for a little bit longer soaking in hot water. As you can see, I've got my hand drill ready here. And my colors. So I'm going to start by drilling the hole. And my colors here. All right, here's some better lighting. So I'm gonna drill a hole right in there, right where you would think. And I'm gonna cheat a little bit here. Instead of the hand drill, I'm gonna switch to my mechanical drill. speed this up and take the sound out because it's really loud but uh basically you just want to drill into here with a hand drill preferably but i like using an electric drill because it's much faster just make sure not to get any of those little shavings in that hole at all you do not want shavings mixing in with your ink because that will just clog it even worse all over again Oh technology, what a time to be alive. When I'm on speed, I'm faster the most, and I can rock a pipe from coast to coast when I'm on speed. I'm faster the most, and I can rock a pipe from coast to coast when I'm on speed. <laughs> Didn't mean to do that. I hope not I got in there. There we are. And right about here is where I realized the whole inside it was completely congealed. It was just completely dry. I could feel it cracking under the weight of my syringe. Just pushing it in there and cracking it more and more. But I decided to keep going with the video. And actually in the end, I was still able to get this thing working. So watch me knock your socks off as I begin to squirt ink into the ink cartridge here. And it's probably going to come out of the bottom because of this hole in the top. If this wasn't completely clogged, which I'm pretty sure it is. Yep, and that's how you know it's completely clogged. Just like that. And what you'll be doing right away so it doesn't come out the bottom covering it up with some tape and you're also going to want to poke a hole not quite as big as the hole that we made you know yeah that's good right there you need the air to be able to flow through it so it has to do with the pressurization you know you need pressure coming from up here just like a straw if you put your finger on the end of a straw imagine the sticker is a finger on the end of the straw you need to have a little bit of air in it right, so that it will flow through the color 
we took off the sticker and you're gonna see three areas that we're gonna drill into as you saw previously I like to use electric drill as opposed to a hand drill because it's just faster um, and then after we drill into these, we're just going to basically stick like one of the syringes in here to see which color is which. It's the easiest way to do it. see that on the tip. Or magenta, I should say. Alright, so we know the bottom one is magenta. The bottom hole. So now we'll just use the tip of the needle on the syringe in each section to see which color fills each section of the cartridge. Sorry, this part's kind of hard to see. I didn't hold it great in front of the camera. See, so we're taking my needle, sticking it in the top left here. Sorry, this one I didn't do a very good job of keeping it in front of the camera, but basically both these top two areas of the cartridge are so congealed and dried up that I wasn't even able to tell the top left color. So I could tell that the top right was cyan or blue. And we already found out the bottom was magenta. And that only leaves one color, which is yellow, for the top left. I remember at the beginning, I said that the ink was so dried and congealed that I didn't think that this was going to work. I was just going to keep going through with the video to show you guys how to do it. But it ended up working in the end. The ink still ended up coming through. I spent enough time soaking the nozzles, or the print heads, in in water that it was able to clear up those blockages of the dried ink and I only soaked them for maybe 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes and that was enough to let the ink flow through all right now let's start with the bottom which is the magenta and again you want to check these for yourself I'm not sure if they're the same for all different like years that they made these or whatnot but it's really easy, you know, just stick the needle in and figure out for yourself which color goes where, so. Alright, and there's red and magenta in there. Let's go blue next, which we figured out was the top right guy. I like to try to stick it in as far as I can comfortably. Don't want to push too hard and ruin the lining that's in there. But you don't want it to just come popping out the top right away. Just soak in there. Yeah, since nothing's coming out, I think this is too clogged for this to actually work when I put it in. But this is how you do it. And then this is the last one, which would be the yellow. As you guys can't even see that. There we go. Well, this one's coming out the bottom. I don't want to put this over the top. Something sticky. Usually people use scotch tape. I'm um, just reusing some sticky stuff that I had. Gimple chips. Holes. Uh, 
And this is why you should use scotch tape. One's like right here. Oh, 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 went way too far in there. <laughs> you don't do that, folks. <laughs> and if you do do that, you should wipe off the end of whatever you're using. There we go. Alright. Alright, so now we're gonna put the cartridges back in just to show you the whole process. And actually what I like to do to make sure that the connectors, the chip on it is clean is I actually mix together a cleaning solution. Um, it's kind of something I've just come up with from watching so many printer videos. Um, this is a mixture of seven parts water, sorry, eight parts water, no, seven parts water, two parts rubbing alcohol, 70% uh, isopropyl and uh, one part Windex, um, but make sure that it's the Windex with ammonia in it. You want ammonia in it, not the kind of like safer for children Windex that they make a lot of the time now. You want to make sure that it has ammonia in it because that is one of the major cleaning factors in it. And so I just put a little bit on a uh, washcloth and just kind of rub it down rub it down and dry it off with both of them and whenever you're drying or wiping ink or anything off of a uh, printer cartridge you want to dab it and not rub it you know dab do not start rubbing like that yeah. I meant that just for the print head part of the ink cartridge where the ink comes out you want to blot and not rub the chip doesn't really matter see, there we can see that this ink cartridge should actually be pretty good. Uh, the yellow actually doesn't look like it's coming through, but the blue and the cyan and magenta are. Alright, so put this in the right way. And there it is, right there. Clamped up. Now let's take the black one. I don't think anything's even going to come out of this guy, but dab. A little, little dab, a little dab, do ya? And kind of blot, you know? And blot it dry. And let's just check down here to see if anything's coming out. And since I didn't see any black ink coming out of the bottom of this here on my rag, I thought that there's no way that this ink cartridge is working. But I was proven wrong. So, right here. Let's just put this guy in. go both in there all right that's how it's done folks actually we're gonna try printing an alignment page just to see if those cartridges worked or if they were too congealed too dried the ink inside The black worked, which I did not think was going to work at all. That's funny. I mean, obviously you can tell that is not an ideal black ink cartridge, but that's just because there was already dried ink in there. Not a whole lot you can do at that point. I mean, you can take it apart and try to clean all of the dried black ink out. Honestly, take it from someone with experience. It is not worth it. I have spent a couple hours before trying to clean out a clogged print head or a clogged, clogged uh, printer cartridge and was not even able to get it to work. So it's really hit or miss and it's really not even worth it. You could just buy a remanufactured ink cartridge for 15 bucks, you know. <laughs> However, that being said, I think this was definitely worth it. This took me no longer than 20 minutes of actual work. 10 minutes of soaking the cartridges, but I was able to do other work while that was happening. So, definitely worth it in the end. Thank you all for watching. 747firm.com, 747firm.us.
have visit either of those sites to find more refurbished printers prices. just like this Pixma and great prices. We're also on Facebook Commerce, we're also on Bonanza, we're on Mercari, and soon to be coming to Nextdoor, and probably several other platforms. So, so come check us out, 747firm.com and 747firm.us. Look at that, even our blue came through. <laughs>